Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today, I'm gonna to share with you three super easy, kid-friendly freezer meals. These are very budget-friendly, and you can make all three in less than an hour. So stay tuned. My husband and I are headed off on a work trip soon, and I wanted to create some freezer meals to send with the kids to grandma's house. Now I'm actually gonna be making all three of these meals with one rotisserie chicken, so it's super easy, and like I said, budget friendly as well. Now before we jump right in, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like freezer meals. Now let's get started. First up, I'm making some chicken bacon subs. For this, I'm gonna be using some ciabatta rolls. Now, I actually was going to make six of these, but one of my kids got into them, so now I'm only making five, but that's okay. I'm also going to be using some shredded chicken from our rotisserie chicken, a few slices of cooked bacon, some cheddar cheese, some butter, some garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and put the full recipe in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. I'm gonna start by chopping up the bacon, and it really just depends on how many sandwiches you wanna make, but I'm using about six pieces. I'm going to get this bacon into my mixing bowl and then move on to the chicken. I've already removed it from the bone, but now I just wanna chop it up pretty finely. Not only will it fit better on our sandwiches, but it's gonna be easier for my kids to eat it. Next comes the cheese. Now you're gonna to wanna to use plenty of cheese here, and you really could use any kind you prefer. I'm using some cheddar cheese, but this would also be great with some mozzarella or even pepper jack if you like it spicy. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder and a few shakes of Italian seasoning, and I'm just gonna eyeball this here. Then I'm gonna mix it all together. To make these sandwiches really easy to store in the freezer, I'm going to use some sheets of foil. I find these at the dollar store and they're super handy. I'm actually gonna build my sandwich right on top. So I'm gonna take my bread and open it up. This is just a very soft ciabatta roll. They're very yummy. And then to each side, I'm gonna add a little bit of softened butter. Next, I'm going to add the chicken, bacon, and cheese filling, and I'm really going to pile it high. I'm gonna put as much as I can. I want these sandwiches to be nice and full, so I'm really going to pack it down in there. Then all I have to do is add my top piece of bread and wrap it up. Once all of the sandwiches are assembled, it's time to get them into a freezer bag which I like to label with what it is and the date. Now generally, these will stay good in the freezer for about three months, but my freezer meals don't usually last that long. We usually end up using them within the next couple of weeks. When it's time to serve these, you have several options. Number one, I like to defrost them in the fridge overnight, and then I'll go ahead and add all of them to my crock pot, and in about an hour, they will all be warmed through and ready to eat. Or you could actually take them out of the foil, put them in the microwave, or even stick them in the toaster oven. It's totally up to you. Now just before serving, you could add some veggies or even some mayo, whatever you prefer. My kids love any combination of chicken and bacon. It is so good. Next up, I'm going to make my creamy baked chicken taquitos. Now you guys, these are not traditional taquitos. I totally get that. But when it comes to making kid-friendly meals, you really just have to go with what you know your kids are going to be okay with, even if that means shying away from tradition. As long as it tastes good and they like it, that's what's important. And of course, I'll go ahead and put a link to this recipe in the description box below. But I'm going to start by adding a third of a block of room temperature cream cheese to my mixing bowl. To this, I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of a very mild green salsa. My kids are totally okay with this as long as it's mild. But if you have some really picky eaters, you can totally leave it out. Next, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of taco seasoning. Again, I'm keeping this mild, but you could add more if you'd like. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. After that, it's time for the cheese. 
Now I'm using about two cups of Monterey Jack cheese, and I'm also gonna add some green onions. My kids are okay with green onions. They definitely prefer those over regular onions. I'm just gonna make sure to chop these kind of small. And I'm just gonna use the greens. To this I'm going to add about three cups of my rotisserie chicken, and I do wanna chop this pretty small. It'll fit better in my taquitos and it'll be easier for the kids to eat. Once this is all combined, I'm gonna give it a taste and see if I wanna add any more seasoning. I ended up adding a little bit more of my green salsa and a little bit more taco seasoning. And now it's time to add these to the tortillas. I like to use the smaller size tortillas for my kids, but I do like to stuff them pretty full. That way the kids are only gonna need about one or two a piece and that's gonna be enough for them. So you just have to get your filling in there and roll them up. As I'm making these, I'm going to add them to an aluminum pan. And then when I have them all done, I'm gonna stick the whole pan into the freezer for about an hour. That way they're mostly frozen when I stick them in my freezer bag and they won't stick together. When it's time to serve these, you can actually take them directly from the freezer and put them into your toaster oven or your regular oven until warmed through. And I like to create a yummy dipping sauce for these with a little bit of Greek yogurt and taco sauce. I just mix the two together. These are so yummy and creamy and cheesy. The kids love them and I'm a big fan too. Lastly, I'm gonna throw together a cheesy buffalo chicken tater tot casserole. This is a good way to use up all the leftover rotisserie chicken. I'm also gonna use some tater tots, some cream of celery soup, some sour cream, some cheddar cheese, and some Frank's hot sauce. Now my kids are totally okay with this as long as I just use a little bit. They've had it plenty of times before. But if your kids are really sensitive, you definitely could leave it out. I'm going to start by adding my cream of celery soup to my mixing bowl. And I'm using cream of celery because it's a great combination with the buffalo wing sauce. But you could definitely use chicken if you'd like. So I'm going to add my sour cream, about a quarter cup of my hot sauce, not too much. Then in goes the cheddar cheese, and I'm going to mix it all together. Now to make this freezer friendly and easy to clean up, I'm going to use an aluminum pan and I'm going to spray it just to make sure nothing sticks. To the bottom of my pan, I'm going to add all of my rotisserie chicken. To this, I'm going to add my soup, sour cream, and cheese mixture. Then all I have to do is spread this out and add my potatoes. I'm gonna cover this with aluminum foil, and I do like to write exactly what's on top, just with the Sharpie directly onto the foil, and then you just stick it in the freezer. The night before I wanna cook this, I'm going to remove it from the freezer and let it defrost in the fridge. Then all I have to do is pop it in my oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. And there you have it, golden brown and toasty and bubbly. It is so good. Super quick, super easy, and, and even my pickiest eaters will eat these dinners. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.